Hello guys, welcome to another edition to the 5 Minute Friday series and in this episode we're going to be looking at M versus Rem and we're going to be looking at their differences. Now in modern day websites one of the best practices to typography on the web is to use relative units like M and Rem. But the question often asked is which one should we use? Now there has in fact been a long standing debate between Rem supporters and M supporters believing that you should use one over the other. But before we can get to the bottom of any questions, it's best to describe what each concept means first. So what is M exactly? Now M is a relative unit of measurement and it's a unit that allows setting the font size of an element relative to the font size of its parent. So let's dive into VS Code now and show you exactly what I mean. Alright guys, so we're back in VS Code and as you can see I've created a really basic document and I've got a div inside the body with a class of parent and then inside that div I've got another div with a class of child and then inside the embedded style sheet here I've given a font size of 20 pixels to the parent and a font size of 1M to the child and if you look in the browser you can see they're both the same size and that's because M units are relative to their parent so this font size is relative to this font size now the reason it's they're the same size is because 1 times 20 is 20 but if I add a 1.5M to this you can see now the child element the browser gets bigger and that's because if I get out my calculator and I do 1 Point five times 20 that equals 30 now the child element is 30 pixels and the parent element is 20 pixels and as mentioned M units are relative to their parent so this is relative to this now if the parent element doesn't specify a value for the font size a value will be looked for higher up in the document and if no font size is specified at all then the browser default of 16 pixels will be used now this is pretty simple and straightforward to understand the M units are relative to their parent now M units can be used for much more than just setting font sizes, they can be used for pretty much everywhere units are expected, so you can put them in padding, margin, width or height, but you have to be very careful here, because when M units are used in other properties other than font size, the value is relative to the element's own size, so if I put a padding top inside the child and I give it a, a 1.5 M, now the space between the parent and child is 45 pixels here because it's important to remember that when M units are used for font size the size is relative to the parent so this font size is relative to this however when we're using M on other properties such as padding or margin it's relative to the font size of the element itself so this padding top of 1.5M one of 1 .5 M is relative to this font size of 1.5M which is relative to this font size and that's the key difference when we're using M for padding, margin or width and height so everything we've learned about M so far is all well and good but a problem can arise from using M and that's called the compound effect and what this essentially means is that the unit can compound from one level to the other so let's dive into VS Code and look at an example now if we go inside this first child element here and create another div with a class of child and call this one child2 and then go inside this one again and call this one child3 you might have first initially thought that it would be this font size of 1.5M but as you can clearly see in the browser they keep getting bigger each time and this is the effect of M units and this is what you would call the compounding effect when multiple M font sized elements are within one another they will effectively keep getting larger despite only having this one font size here and each nested element within another will go up by 1.5 from the previous so we already know the first one's 30 pixels the second one now will be 45 pixels and the third will be 67.5 pixels now this problem is the reason why the rem unit was created so the rem unit short for root m is a relative unit that always is based upon the font size value of the root element which is the html element now if the html element doesn't have a specified font size the browser default of 16 pixels will be used so that means by using the rem unit the values of the parent elements are completely ignored so if i just simply change this to rem you can see now they're all the exact same size no matter what I do to this, that will just grow on its own. But the child elements now that we've given it a font size of 1.5 rem instead of m, all stay the same. And you can see how rem units allow us to completely avoid the compound effect of m units, despite them being nested inside each other. And the same will apply for other values. So if we say here, padding top of 1.5 rem, you can see now the spaces are much more smaller because it's only 16 pixels which is the root element, it's not relative to this font size of 30 pixels like M's would be. So we really get to the ultimate question of M versus Rem and which one is better. 
Now you may be disappointed in the answer, but there's no better unit really, and it all depends on your personal preferences. Some like to design everything in REM units for consistency and predictability, while others like to use M units in place where the influences of nearby parent elements would make much more sense. But that'll be it for this episode guys. If you did like the content, please hit the like button and please consider subscribing. And I'll see you in the next 5 Minute Fridays episode.